I'm pleased to be joined by the Minister of Fisheries and Aquaculture, Keith Hutchings, and the Minister of Natural Resources, Derek Daly. I would like to welcome members of the business community here, industry representatives, and MHAs who have joined us today. Today has been a long time coming. This morning, Canada and the European Union announced an agreement in principle on a comprehensive economic and trade agreement, an agreement which will gain unprecedented opportunity for Newfoundland and Labrador. CETA is the most comprehensive free trade agreement ever negotiated by Canada. It creates substantial economic development opportunities, and Newfoundland and Labrador is better positioned than any other province in the country to take advantage of this deal. We have historic connections, trade relationships with Europe, and our proximity to Europe makes us an attractive business partner. Our oil and gas, ocean tech, and fishing industries are looking to Europe for opportunities. This is an exciting deal for Canada and for Newfoundland and Labrador. Newfoundland and Labrador is thriving like never before, leading Canada in economic growth in 2013. Today, our province is the envy of the country, and we remain committed to strengthening the business environment, developing innovative industries, and diversifying the economy. CETA is an agreement in principle which we support and represents a significant achievement for the people of our province. The determination and fortitude of our Premier secured a deal that will benefit Newfoundlanders and Labradorians for generations to come. Premier Dunderdale was adamant from the very beginning we would not sign a deal unless it was in the best interests of the province. Our Premier was steadfast in ensuring that this agreement in principle provides enhanced trade and investment opportunities and prosperity in Newfoundland and Labrador. As a result of the agreement in principle that has been reached, Newfoundland and Labrador will now have secured access to markets in the European Union which represents a game-changing development in the fishing industry in Newfoundland and Labrador. When Canada and the European Union announced in 2008 their intentions to negotiate a free trade deal, our government was skeptical to participate. We were worried our interests would not be represented and opted not to support the negotiations. When formal negotiations were launched in May 2009, Newfoundland and Labrador was unwilling to sign on in support of the agreement. For approximately 18 months, we monitored negotiations and provided full representation on issues of importance to this province. As negotiations proceeded, it became clear to us that we would have to become full participants in order to take full advantage of an opportunity to finally address long-standing issues related to our fish and seafood products entering into the European market. Premier Kathy Dunderdale recognized what was at stake, and in March 2011, we told the federal government we were ready to negotiate. Premier Dunderdale's main focus was to ensure that our fishing industry would be the main benefactor of any agreement that would be reached. Today, we have secured a deal that will benefit Newfoundlanders and Labradorians for generations to come. CETA is a game changer for our province and for our country. We negotiated in good faith but strictly adhered to our government's policy of no more giveaways, and this fundamental principle was upheld during negotiations. It was also critical that our government ensure that obligations in CETA did not undermine policies in this province that are central to economic development, such as those that flow from the Atlantic Accords. These policies are not affected because of CETA. In addition, we secured exemptions from the obligations related to government procurement for NALCOR and all future subsidiaries, with the exception of Newfoundland Hydro. Also, Research and Development Corporation, <coughs> shipbuilding and maintenance, and we have maintained flexibility around regional economic development. CETA positions the province to take advantage of the largest market in the world for goods and services. This includes minerals, oil and gas, fish and seafood, and ocean technology. CETA will not only provide preferential access to Canadian goods and service providers throughout the European Union, it also means that our country's service providers will not be placed at a competitive disadvantage when the EU enters into trade agreements with our competitors. 
This is because the CETA is because CETA contains a most favored nation commitment, whereby Canada will gain comparable benefit if the EU provides better treatment to any other trading partner, such as the US, with whom they are presently negotiating with. As the knowledge-based service economy continues to develop in Newfoundland and Labrador, it is critical that we continue to attract foreign direct investment and expand markets for service providers, such as the oil and gas service industry. The province will now have the potential to attract investment, which is critical to maintaining economic growth and expansion across all economic sectors within the province, most notably in the oil and gas and service industries. CETA also includes mechanisms for dealing with non-tariff barriers, which, which can restrict access even when market access commitments have been achieved. For example, standards and labeling rules can, in certain circumstances, act as discriminatory barriers to trade. CETA will provide the province with the ability to challenge non-tariff barriers in the EU. Canada exported $14.5 billion worth of services to the European Union in 2012. The CETA agreement will provide the opportunity to increase this amount as the European Union offered Canadian provinces and territories the best access ever provided to any of its free trade partners. We will now have expanded access to important sectors such as research and development, mining, services related to energy, and professional services, to name but a few. It is estimated that CETA could lead, lead to GDP gains in Canada of up to $12 billion and 80,000 new jobs in the country. These are significant gains for the country and for Newfoundland and Labrador, and we commend the federal government for reaching an agreement in principle with the European Union. Today, we are witnessing one of the most positive events to occur in our fishery in decades. Our provincial fishing industry now has unprecedented access to European markets, and the fishing industry in the province will achieve maximum benefit from this agreement. The province's most important interest in this negotiation was the elimination of punitive tariff and non-tariff barriers to our high-quality fish and seafood. To speak about the great opportunities that lie ahead in our fishery, I now pass it over to the Minister of Fisheries, Mr. Keith Hutchings. Thank you, Minister Johnson. It's certainly a great pleasure to be here today to discuss the details of a new international trade agreement, one that will begin a new era of opportunity for the provincial fishing and aquaculture industry. Achieving duty-free access to European markets for our provincial seafood products will create tremendous benefits for the provincial fishing and agriculture industry and the rural communities that rely upon it. The European Union is one of the world's most lucrative markets for fish and seafood products. For years, our fishing industry has been at a competitive disadvantage in the market because of tariffs, tariffs placed in our fish and seafood that range from 7.5% to 20%. As a, as a specific example, the tariff on one of the province's most lucrative products, cooked and peeled shrimp, was 20 percent. The provincial government pressured our federal parts hard to elim eliminate these economic barriers in the course of trade negotiations. And our efforts helped create terms that will add an estimated 25 to 30 million dollars back into the fishing industry through immediate tariff relief each year. And also established new opportunities that could add over 100 million dollars annually to the industry. Another way to describe what has been achieved is to discuss tariff lines. Tariff lines define how specific products get taxed according to a country's tariff schedule. With respect to tariff lines, they're important to the province. 99.1% of European Union fish and seafood tar tariff lines will be eliminated as soon as the agreement comes into force, which is anticipated in 2015. Other tariffs will be eliminated over a maximum of seven years. It is important to note that the two most important species for our provincial fishery, shrimp and crab, will be duty-free immediately upon CETA coming into effect. In addition to achieving tariff relief, CETA will eliminate end-use restrictions on provincial seed products, seafood products in the European Union, and will also finally create the opportunity for provincial exporters to engage in marketing that differentiates our high-quality products in European markets. In short, through CETA, we have achieved unprecedented access to a new market that has extraordinary economic potential. The European Union is the world's largest economy with more than 500 million consumers and a GDP of $17 trillion. On average, each European citizen consumes more than 21 kilograms of fish products per year. 
In addition to consuming large amounts of fish products, consumers in the European Union demand high quality products that are brought to market in a sustainable way. That puts Newfoundland and Labrador in, a, in an ideal position to meet the needs of the market as 82% of the value of provincial fisheries have either achieved Marine Stewardship Council certification or in the process of attaining it. Having this certification means consumers can trace our products all the way back to the waters where they were caught and can rest assured they were harvested and processed in a responsible and sustainable manner, which is of great importance to that market. We fully expect this agreement will cause fishing and aquaculture to surpass the $1 billion in uh, production value it already generates annually and will generate very meaningful economic benefits for generations to come. A natural question that arises from discussion of these tremendous gains is what do we have to negotiate to achieve these benefits for the province? In order to achieve unfettered access to EU markets, the provincial government agreed to grant minimum processing requirement exemptions for fish and seafood destined for the European Union. The provincial government has enforced minimum processing requirements to ensure fish harvests on our shores will support processing activity. Exemptions have only been granted when the people of the province would benefit, and this is one of those occasions. The provincial government consulted with stakeholders, the fishing industry regularly on this matter, and met with seafood industry stakeholders to obtain input during the CETA negotiations. Industry stakeholders have expressed support for the arrangements and have been made, that have been made regarding minimum processing requirements and are indeed, I believe, enthusiastic about the economic benefits that tariff relief will bring to the fishery. I want to note that exemptions will not take effect right away. They will begin three years after CETA comes into force, which we anticipate will be 2018. I also want to note that Newfoundland and Labrador minimum processing requirements will remain in force for all other jurisdictions, with the provincial government reserving the right to make exemptions where those exemptions make sense. We see this as part of being good economic stewards for the province, just as we were good stewards when we advocated long and hard over a period of years to achieve favorable terms we see today in CETA. I conclude by saying as Minister of Fisheries and Agriculture, as former Minister of Innovation, Business and Rural Development, and MHA who has many industry stakeholders and constituents, it gives me great pride to take part in one of the most positive developments for the fishing industry in decades. Premier Donnerdale has indeed showed great leadership and resilience in asserting the province's best interest throughout this process. What has been t achieved today is reflective of the efforts of a government that is dedicated to comprehensive, long-term thinking that results in enduring prosperity for current and future generations of Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. I want to thank the, thank the Premier, certainly my colleagues, the fishing industry leaders, and the public servants who came together to turn years of effort into a tremendously successful outcome for, for the province. I would also like to recognize the efforts of Ed Fast, Minister of International Trade, in achieving successful outcomes through this negotiation process. Together, we have created a new playing field for this industry, one that holds the potential for unprecedented economic success. I'll certainly now return it over to Minister Johnson. Thank you, Minister Hutchings. I'll now pass it on to Minister Daly, who will provide some additional insight into the benefits of CETA. Thank you, Minister Johnson, and uh, <clears throat> certainly a pleasure to be here, I'm sure, all of you, because I think we can acknowledge this is another great day for Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. And uh, you know, it's been a long, difficult negotiation, uh, but it's, it certainly was made easier, certainly by our premier strong conviction and the conviction of our government that whatever we do, uh, particularly within CETA, it will be done in the best interests of Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. And as we all know, uh, our premier and our government has been steadfast, committed, and certainly highly successful in developing our natural resources for the immediate and future benefit of Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. Our government, through this nego negotiation, held fast in our, on our commitment of no more giveaways in the natural resources sector, and we did not change this position during the CETA negotiations. We are confident that the protections and exemptions we have achieved in the agreement for important provincial measures and practices such as the Atlantic Accords and benefits plans will enable this government to continue to represent the best interests of Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. Ladies and gentlemen, this agreement is about market access. With our industry partners, we have developed a strong and vibrant oil and gas industry in this province. We have built capacity, capacity in the service and supply sector, capacity in innovation, technology, 
engineering, design capabilities, we now have easier access to new markets to export this capacity for the benefit of service providers, companies, and to create more opportunities for the skilled and talented Newfoundland and Labradorians, Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. CETA will also enhance opportunities in the forestry sector through the immediate removal of all tariffs on forestry products, which currently range up to 10%. This is an important outcome for the forestry sector in our province and will help create opportunities to diversify our forestry sector. As you all know, we continue to work with the sector and to try and create new opportunities and certainly this opens a new door mm. and certainly allows us to be competitive with new products and new ideas in the European markets. Important to all of us, Nalcor Energy, the company owned by the people of the province and all of its present and future subsidiaries have been carved out of the procurement obligations in this agreement. This will permit Nalcor Energy to continue to procure in the best interests of any project from wherever it needs to source goods and services the same way as it does today. Essentially, there's been no change. So ladies and gentlemen, today we can acknowledge we have successfully achieved our objective, which was to create zero tariff, with no in-use restrictions, to reduce trade barriers, and to make Newfoundlanders and Labradorians and all of our companies more competitive in the European Union. Thank you.